Hi, in today's video we want to see what is new in LibreOffice 25.2. So we are 25.2 version and let's see some things that are new. Let's write something. So let's write some text and now let's in let's increase the zoom let's change and we want to save it and we reopen what is new in this version is that for each user libreoffice will keep the zoom when we close it so if i'm close if i'm moving up and i'm writing here something saving and closing when i'm reopening i am in the same zoom as i was when i close it if the same file will be opened by another person and that person is reading this document in this zoom when it's closing and reopening this person will see in its own zoom if you don't like this you can change in tools options writer view and we have here use last document setting or you can check that and you if you you can change the optimal and so on another change it's about boundaries so if i activate here formatting marks you can see where I have spaces in the text or I can disable uh, here in view the formatting marks is different from boundaries so for example if I have a table here let's insert a table with no border I just use the table for layout but I don't want to, uh, the borders to be seen if I disable boundaries, I could not see um, the table. So uh, before, these two options were together. When we activated formatting marks, we have also these spaces, but also the table. Now they are different options. And also you can customize them in tools, options, LibreOffice, formatting aids, and here you have object boundaries. You can uh, see, for example, text to be border. We can see this border here is a border for text. We can have crop. Let's go in the page to see that you can see this crop here. let's uh, sections and frames if i disable and if i insert here a section insert section the section is not visible so let's check again to see the sections you can see here it's a section and the same for tables if you don't like to see the border for tables in the text you can disable that or enable from here another change i want to talk about is page number so let's see how it was before i have a project with hundreds of pages i have just one page now but it's an example so let's insert a page number insert page number so let's insert we have now a change in layout because two rows have moved on the next page because of this page number. Let's undo. Let's see what improvement we have in 25.2. Insert page number. We have a check here, fit into existing margins. So if I click that, please look. I have a number one here, but no change in layout. I don't have two pages because I, I remain with one page. It's similar if we have hundreds of pages and we insert that page number, we will keep the layout 
Now let's talk about footnotes. Here I have a, a first footnote, a second footnote, let's insert another one. So third note here. What uh, we can do in this version, if we open the navigator here, we can transform these three footnotes or how many are in the documents to endnotes. So very easy, click on footnotes, right click, make all footnotes endnotes. So now you can see here I have I, I, I and so on and I have endnotes instead of having footnotes. Again I can transform them in footnote and I have like before. Another thing I want to talk is comments. So let's insert here a comment. Now let's insert here a comment and let's go to tools, options and let's suppose now I am John and I want to edit this document and I want to reply to this comment. Let's reply. Now let's suppose the document is opened by another person. And it's answering the same. Okay, so we have different color for different persons. It's very easy to uh, remember that. Another thing about comments is we have when we want to resize, we have this tooltip here. We can know where the comment area will move. So it's much easier to, to see the comments. Now let's talk about duplicates. So we have a table with some heading and we want to find duplicates in this table. So let's select first data duplicates. We have to check header because uh, this data contains a column header. We want to compare by rows and let's compare names and values and if we have something let's select just not remove. Let's see we have John with two, John with two again and John with three. So let's press OK. We can see John with two it's a duplicate. So it was selected. Of course we can remove it. Now will be removed. So we have John with three and John with two just once. Let's undo. Let's test another thing. I want duplicates here. I want just one John. So John should be just once. Let's uncheck values and I want just to select in order to see. So this will be removed. John with two because it's again here and also John with three because John is already in the table. If we check again and remove You can see no name is twice. 